So I think, you know, one of the things in the world of family business that we always reflect on is, is the complexity, right? There's the complexity of the overlapping systems of family and business and ownership. But the truth is, even as individuals, we have complexity. And you want to have some complexity, right? There's different facets of our life. We play different roles. We, we may be a mother. We may be um, a business leader. We may be a, a civically engaged. So there's lots of different places where we play a role. Uh, and, I, and I think there's a lot of value in, in being intentional and, and, and thinking about what's the role that I want to be playing? What are, the, what are the constraints that I have right now in my life? And if I think about it at the different time horizons, right? So kind of when you're, you know, a younger person, so say in the 20s to 40s, I think about that a little bit as a building phase, right? So you're building, you may be building a family of your own, right? You may be partnering with somebody and, and potentially having children. Um, you are hopefully building skills in terms of your professional role and, and building capabilities and exploring at the same time, right? So there, there I think, one wants to give yourself a little bit of flexibility when you're younger to take some risks. And, you know, sometimes we think, well, this is the path I'm supposed to be on. And maybe in a family business context, that may happen more so because there is a path that's available to us. But I think it's important to question it a little bit, right? To explore and to try and then to assess honestly with ourselves, is this the right fit? Am I, am I developing the skills that I need and I want for my own professional career growth? And what does the business need, right? So finding the right balance between those two potential, you know, sometimes competing goals. And also, what does the business need me to develop for the future, right? So the business is not a static entity either. And so if we're thinking about the skills that we want to build, it's, it's useful sometimes to think about that um, looking around the corner, right? How, well, how can I be building in a way that's helpful to me personally? What, what interests me and also thinking about where's the business going and how can I add value if that's the place that I want to play in terms of my work role, right, my professional role. And then on the wellness piece, I think, again, uh, it's really valuable when we're young to think about building, building skills and good habits around that so that as we get older, <laughs> we, we have that inner strength and we have that uh, capabilities. And I would say that for women in particular, we do tend to, I think that's the place where we, we may often cut our, um, sell ourselves short, right? Because it's so challenging, I think, already to balance that, you know, all the demands of building a family, et cetera, and then building a professional role and, and, and a sense of competence in that area, that often the self-care, the wellness piece, that's often the one that that will sort of take a back seat. And, and I think that's regrettable if we think about kind of the next tranche, right, that I think about, you know, from your 40s to your 60s, I think about that as the kind of expanding and strengthening piece of it, right? So your family is expanding, your kids are kind of getting older, they have more interests, maybe I have teenagers, they're in my house all the time, I, <laughs> I feel like my, my family circle gets larger and, and that'll only become more so, right, as my kids come to an age where they will be partnering and, and so they will be new spouses in the family, new children, et cetera. Uh, so there, there's a growth and an expansion in the family system at that, at that age. Similarly, in the business sphere, right? Hopefully, you know, when you're between 40 and 60 is really when you're hitting your stride and you're you're really um, have you know great competence professionally, and you're in a position to really kind of grow into the role that that you want for yourself. Hopefully, the business is growing as well, and so there's that kind of parallel growth. Um, and again, on the wellness side, it's really important to grow. I think you know. Once your kids are a little bit older, it's really important to invest in sort of other interests and other passions. How can I be engaged in my community? How can I grow the spheres where I play a role so that I have um, a little bit of that um, richness, I guess, in terms of things that might interest me? Um, and, and again, continuing to take care of ourselves from a from a physical health, an emotional health, spiritual health piece, uh, that's really important. Um, so that, again, you know, you kind of move into that next, the third phase, so there's a 60 plus, um, hopefully that's the enjoyment uh, stage, right? So where you're enjoying your family now, right? Your kids are hopefully launched. Uh, so they're, they're a little bit more stable. Maybe they'll eventually have some grandchildren for you to enjoy as well. And that's a wonderful thing. Um, and then in the business, right? Hopefully you're at a place where you, you know, you can continue to engage and, and be a very active role, uh, and then transition into kind of mentoring. And even as you're very engaged and, and having a, a, an active role in terms of leadership that you then, you know, you have a lot of knowledge and experience to impart to the next generation. So there's that 
kind of generativity or, or mentoring phase that I think is really valuable and, and enriching both for the organization and, and you know, I, I'm working with retired CEOs these days a lot and it's fabulous to listen to them tell stories about how much they get out of the experience of sharing their knowledge and experience with the younger generation and how fulfilling that is for them. So I would really encourage folks to, to explore that uh, ability. And again, on the wellness piece, right, this is where those, this is where the dividends pay off of that long-term commitment to taking care of ourselves, you know, physically, healthily, et cetera, so that we have the strength and the capability to truly enjoy and to pursue, you know, a variety of things, whether it be travel, you know, new hobbies, new, new exciting opportunities uh, that, you know, you want to be physically and uh, healthy in order to really be able to do that for as many years as possible.